Israel has ordered a complete surge on the Gaza Strip, cutting off food and electricity as it prepares for a massive ground offensive within 48 hours after Hamas launched a deadly surprise attack this weekend in what has been described as the Jewish state's worst day in history. More than 700 Israeli soldiers and civilians were shot dead or blown up in rocket attacks launched by the Palestinian gunmen on Saturday, who mowed down some 260 innocent people at a music festival in a brutal unexpected offensive that drew comparisons within the 9 out of 10 attacks or Pearl Harbor. In retaliation, Israel's defense forces and air force pounded the Gaza Strip with airstrikes and missile attacks, claiming they hit more than 1,000 Hamas targets in the past two days. Now, Israel Defense Minister Yoav Gallant said authorities will cut electricity to the Gaza Strip and block the entry of food and fuel, declaring his troops are fighting barbaric and will respond accordingly. The measures will essentially enact such like conditions that will see the millions of Palestinians living in the tiny fenced in region begin to starve as they are attacked from the skies. The announcement comes as Israel soldiers backed by helicopters killed at least two gunmen who crossed the northern border from Lebanon today in a sign of a possible new front opening as Israel's forces continued to battle Hamas terrorists to the south. Artillery shelling and gunfire were heard at Lebanon's southern border with Israel, a local journalist said. Israel's power Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu formally declared war on Sunday and the army called up around 300,000 reservists, suggesting greater fighting lies ahead with possible ground assault into Gaza. Netanyahu has vowed to completely destroy the military and governing capabilities of Hamas, which is deeply rooted in Gaza and has ruled and challenged it since 2007. Speaking on Monday afternoon with officials in Jerusalem, the Israel PM declared what Hamas will experience will be difficult and terrible. We are going to change the Middle East. This is only the beginning. We are all with you and we will defeat them with force, enormous force.